Justice League Gods and Monsters was a film that was set in an alternate universe from the main DC continuity. As such, it has different versions of all the characters that we already know. Now, I've already done origins for the films Vampire Batman and the New God Wonder Woman, links to which are in this video's description. And this video is going to focus on Superman's origin story from this film. His story starts on Krypton, as it always does. The planet is destabilizing and about to explode, thanks to General Zod trying to use the planet's core as a thermal power source. Instead of having power to fuel their weapons for all of time, the Kryptonians ended up destroying their planet. And the scientist Jor-El, of course, saw this coming and tried to warn the leading council, but no one would listen. So instead, he built a small rocket to carry Krypton's last sun to Earth. Not that different to the normal origins so far. But unlike most of the origins, Superman hasn't actually been born yet. You see, the Kryptonians have a technology that can make a baby without having sex or without putting it inside a woman. Now, why on earth you'd want to have a baby without the sex part is way beyond me, but I can understand the not wanting to put it in a woman. After all, a lot of women die in childbirth and the whole experience is rather painful. So if you have the technology to do it a different way, I think we'd all jump on that. So Superman's mother's egg is in the spacecraft, meaning the mother's DNA is there, but the father's DNA isn't there yet. So General Zod bursts in and decides to give his own DNA to the child. After all, if there's going to be a last son of Krypton, he wants it to be his son. So in this universe, Superman's dad is actually General Zod, which might explain why he's not so fussed about killing criminals. So Superman's rocket flies to Earth like normal, but instead of the Kents finding the rocket, it is instead found by Mexican immigrants who take the baby and run, as the government turns up to collect the rocket, led by Lex Luthor, who was born several decades before Superman in this universe. So Superman grows up as an immigrant and he has a younger sister, and one day he accidentally hurts his sister with his superpowers, which puts him off using them, at least at first. So as he grows up, he decides to explore the world and travels around it, though apparently he travels as a man and doesn't use his superpowers at all. Now, how he has the money for this isn't really explained, but the most likely answer is that he probably used his powers a little bit to get some cash. Perhaps he crushed a few lumps of coal into diamonds and then cashed them in. Or perhaps he traveled the world and just worked as he went. But I think it more likely he used his powers to get enough cash. And as time goes on, he accepts that his powers are part of him and he uses them to implement justice. He also meets Wonder Woman and has a brief romance with her, Although Wonder Woman says this only happened because she was just happy to see a metahuman. She hadn't really seen many on Earth and she was just so excited she couldn't help but date him. And actually, she thought that he was basically too much of an arrogant jerk to actually date. I'm paraphrasing, but that's basically their relationship. Although later on, they do get together in the Justice League and they're kind of close, but there's no actual romance between the two. All those little dots down there connected to a single productive purpose. A world brought together as one. Under us. Under us. You just got less sexy. And he later finds Batman living on the streets and decides to take him in. Down at the docks, middle of the night, a rat in my mouth. Why you took me in, I'll never know. You were hungry. And it comes across to me that having immigrants for parents has given him a deeper understanding for the poorer people in the world. So in that sense, he's actually more sympathetic towards them. And so Superman and Batman later join with Wonder Woman and they become this world's Justice League. And that is Superman's origin. Like I said, it's not very different to the normal one in the broad strokes. But there are some key differences, such as him not knowing anything about his heritage, as the rocket he came to Earth in is taken by the government. And though he later gets it back from the government, all the files on board are damaged, so he doesn't have access to all the Kryptonian knowledge that his parents left him. Though he later finds out that these files weren't damaged in the crash like he was told, but the government actually gave him corrupted copies. Why did you keep this from me? I was afraid you'd emulate your father. Better you should think he was a hero. Because they feared that if he knew about his father, who was a general who had conquered Krypton, that he might follow suit and conquer the Earth. Basically, the son following in the father's footsteps. And to be fair, there is some justification to this fear. After all, as I said, this universe's Superman is a lot more violent than the main DC universe's Superman. He does get very violent with criminals and he kills quite a lot of them. But these fears were proved to be unfounded because when this Superman learned the truth, he actually became less violent and wanted to stop killing criminals. We need to shake things up a bit. Change the way we do things. No more politics. No more killing. 
seriously. Seemingly to distance himself from his father, who he describes as a madman who destroyed a planet. And it seems he wants to be nothing like him. So if they'd actually shown him these files sooner, they might have actually got a better Superman out of the deal. And as for Superman's powers, they're basically exactly the same as the normal Superman. Super strength, super speed, flight, heat vision, etc. All Kryptonians basically have the same powers. They just get the same abilities from the sun, so there's not really much change in that sense. And that is Superman's origin. And although this origin isn't that different, I do actually quite personally like some of it, such as them making General Zod his father. I think this was a great move because it really adds a new depth to his character. And instead of having the perfect family heritage with these lovely scientists who are visionaries and saw the future coming and the end of their planet and no one would listen, instead, it's all just a bit messed up. And in a way, his father actually raped his mother as he forced his DNA into merging with hers to make Superman. Not quite the same, but it's still a massive violation. So it's much darker and much more interesting. And even the immigrant family is different as his human parents are not the all-Americans that we're used to seeing in the Kents, all settled in a nice town in a lovely farm, proper middle American stuff. Instead, he sees poverty and hardship and some of the worst sides of humanity as people exploit his parents. And since Superman's story is really about a god living among mortals, it's refreshing to see him more exposed to the darker sides of human nature. So I actually think this was a very interesting take on the character. But what do you think? Do you enjoy this take on Superman? Or do you prefer the original? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And as I say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.